In this video, we're going to talk about the real number system, which is often represented by an uppercase R symbol. The real number system contains several subsets. We have the natural numbers, often represented by the uppercase N symbol. And the natural numbers are counting numbers. They consist of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, continuing up to infinity. The whole numbers are the same as the natural numbers, except we add 0 to our set. So the natural numbers are our counting numbers, and the whole numbers are the natural numbers plus zero. The set of integers represented by an uppercase Z are defined as the set of whole numbers plus negatives. In other words, coming from negative infinity, negative 2, negative 1, 0, continuing up through the positive whole numbers to infinity. So the integers represent the whole numbers plus the negatives. The next subset of the real number system is the rational numbers, often represented by the letter Q. The rational numbers consist of numbers of the form a over b, where a and b are integers. We can say a and b are elements of z, are integers, and b is not equal to zero. So in other words, it's the set of integers plus the set of fractions and decimals that are rational. Essentially what it means to be a rational number is that it's a number which can be expressed as a fraction in some form. Decimals are rational numbers, provided they either terminate or end, or have repeating decimals. These are all rational numbers. So what's left in our subset of the real numbers? For our subsets of the real numbers, rather. What's left is the set of irrational numbers. Irrational numbers cannot be expressed as a ratio of integers. And in decimal form, they're non-repeating and they never terminate. For example, one irrational number that most of us are familiar with is pi. We often think of pi as 3.14. However, that's because when we work with pi, we're usually rounding. The irrational number pi consists of 3.14159265, and so on and so on. It's a non-repeating decimal that just goes on and on and never ends. Another irrational number is the square root of 2. The square root of 2 in decimal form is 1.414 Again, it's non-repeating, and it never terminates or ends. Let's make a quick chart to summarize the set of real numbers. 
We start with the natural numbers, n, and that consists of our counting numbers. Then we have our whole numbers. Those are the counting numbers, plus zero. Next we have our integers, given by z. And those include the negative numbers. Then we have the rational numbers, given by q. Those include fractions. And finally, we have our rational numbers. And these include numbers such as pi and square root of 2. So there you have it, a brief overview of the real number system. I hope that you found the video to be helpful, and we'll see you next time.